Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today, I have got my laptop with me because I am gonna show you what I have put on my Christmas list. Now I know it's only six days till Christmas, <laughs> um, but if you are my kind of age and you know, your mum or someone has asked you for a few more ideas, this might be helpful if you are into like the same kind of things as me. If you are buying for someone who's into the same kind of things as me, it may be helpful if you're looking for a last minute gift. I've got sections of my Christmas list. Um, some random stuff that I would like, some makeup and toiletries, perfumes, board games, and then I've got another random section. I obviously didn't think that through and I've got two random sections. Um, but just a bit of like, debrief slash history slash disclaimer or whatever I write a list um because it's Christmas and my birthday so um my parents need <laughs> lots of ideas <laughs> um well they say they do also I when I always thought that it would be unfair to give them separate lists I don't like the idea of being like Hi dad, can you please get me this? And mum, can you get me this? Because I know what I'm going to get. I've always liked the idea of writing a list with diff lots of different options on and I don't know what I'm gonna get. Um, I like that because I like the surprise. However, obviously there's always some things that I could do with so I will put on a list or a wish list or whatever. Um, and I have been, for the past, probably since they broke up, so like 15 years ago, I have been writing a list and sending it to both of them via email, in the same email, so they get it at the same time, so they're both treated very fairly. Um, and then my mum and dad actually speak to each other on the phone and they talk about who wants to get what or anything like that. So then at least they do the communicating and I don't have to pick who gets me what or anything like that. Um, I write quite a bit down um and you know if i don't get things then that's absolutely fine these are just ideas um so i'm just going to read it out to you and also maybe show some pictures if there's something that uh is hard to explain let's just go through it <laughs> i feel like i've done this the last couple of years now haven't i so number one in my random section is a dvd of in the heights it's a musical written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. He is also the man who wrote Hamilton the musical. Um, I saw it in the Heights in the cinema and also my cousin has a copy of the DVD and I would love a copy of the DVD um, because I love the musical. So I've asked for that. I've also asked for a laptop stand for when I'm working from home. As it seems to be, um, we're probably going to be working from home for a bit longer um, and I am currently standing my laptop on boxes or on files and folders and balancing them and it's annoying. I would like just a nice laptop stand because it's just so much easier. There are ones that go like this, so across where your laptop stands on, then like there's a back to them and then a base to them and you can actually fit them folders in that gap, um, which is always helpful. Um, or your keyboard if you're not using it and stuff like that, so that would be handy. Um, I have also asked for a Banksy 2022 calendar. I'll put a picture up here. I personally love having a calendar because I write everyone's birthdays in, I write when I'm seeing people, I write my school holidays, I write everything. But I really like grid, I like square grid calendars. I also really like Banksy calendars. Um, there have been a couple of years where I, I basically haven't asked for the calendar for Christmas because I've always thought I'll get it in the sale but now there's been a couple of years where I haven't managed to get it in the sale because it's sold out and I've had to get other um, calendars and I just really like the Banksy ones so I've asked for that. Maybe a bit different, um, I've asked for different types of paint and art things like oil pastels. So, you know, some watercolour paints or some more acrylic paint or something like that. And I've also asked for paintbrushes because I started in lockdown, I did a life drawing kind of class that was free online um, and I really enjoyed it. And also I bought some acrylic paints and started painting and I've used kind of a lot of the main colours up like white um, and blue and stuff like that. Um, and I find 
painting really relaxing um, and I find using oil pastels really relaxing as well um, and that is something that I would like to continue doing uh, so I've asked for some more supplies for that. I've also asked for <laughs> a new um, bath sheet and hand towel. Um, I am plus size and a lot of the time bath towels don't wrap around you very well. I also still have bath towels from when I was at uni. So there's a red set that I bought in 2011. So they're like 10 years old now. That's not good, is it? <laughs> no. Um, and I, in the last year, have bought uh, from Next. They have XL bath sheets. And they are lovely because they wrap around so well. Um, and I love them. I've got light colours. I've got a pale pink and a pale purple. And this time I've asked for aubergine. The XL bath sheet is quite expensive. It's £24. Um, and the hand towel is £5. I've also asked for socks. <laughs> I've asked for white trainer socks um, because in the summer I normally wear a lot of white pumps and then black ankle socks to go to wear with boots and stuff like that. Um, so just plain socks. <laughs> Very interesting. The life of a... I'm going to be 29 on Christmas Day. Um, I also asked for a mini tripod. So uh, I have this tripod here, but the smallest it goes to is actually quite large and takes up a lot of space. The feet take up a lot of space and they open up quite wide. I also have a gorilla pod that I got, I don't know, maybe like three years ago. The gorilla pod now has become extremely flimsy. Um, some of the legs kind of like, or half the leg pops off. If sometimes I'm holding it, it just starts like falling. It's so flexible and at first it was really sturdy and would stand up well. Now I can stand it up and the legs just start going like this or it just like topples over. Um, it's just not sturdy enough anymore. So I thought a nice mini tripod that is not flexible but is mini would be good. So I've asked for one of those. I've linked this one from Curry's if you are interested. This is the one that I've asked for. I just really don't I'm not fussed about where it's from, who it's by or anything like that. Then we move on to makeup and toiletries. So the first thing I've written is bath stuff. Bath bombs, salt, bubble bath, shower gel, bath milk, bath oil, lotion. I love bath stuff. Any kind of bath stuff, I want it. I love bath stuff. I just love it all so much. I love smelling good. I love making the bath different colours and more fun and more relaxing and just... I love bath time, <laughs> such a baby, um, but I love it. And so I want more interesting things. Uh, so, you know, we'll see if I get any. Um, last year, um, I got quite a lot of bath bombs and that was lovely. Um, I also wrote down Bath and Body Works items because now you can get them from Next. Now, I have had a look at Next and I think that the Christmas stuff they're selling is last year's Bath and Body Works stuff because the drawings are what they had last year the patterns of what they had last year um it may have changed by now but definitely it was like that a couple of weeks ago um and i have used bathandbodyshop.co.uk to order the current stuff before um but i thought it would be nice to ask for some stuff from next i can't believe that we can now get it in the uk um i've also written that my favorite scent is japanese cherry blossom in case they were wondering <laughs> And so I've kind of left it open to them. I've also, under makeup and toiletries, asked for thick scrunchies. I love chucking my hair up, but I don't like when I'm doing, when I'm getting in the bath, or I'm just chucking my hair up quickly, um, I don't like to use the thin black hair bands. I like to use scrunchies. Um, however, at the moment I've only got mini scrunchies because I snapped my favourite thick one. Um, which I was gutted about and so I'd love just more thick scrunchies because they feel looser in the hair um, and they just feel nicer so I've asked for some of them. I've also asked for some little things. My mum loves to wrap up lots of little things I think because under the tree um, it just looks then like I've got more stuff you know. Um, so I've written down my favourite shampoo and conditioner is L'Oreal Dream Lengths. Uh, my favourite deodorant is Mitchum. I use the roll-on and the spray, so I can have either of those. Then a couple of makeup bits. I always find it really hard asking for makeup. 
Um, last year or the year before, I did ask for the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette because I really, really wanted that. But like, I find a lot of the time, I'll be scrolling through Feel Unique and I'll look at stocking fillers or I'll look at Christmas gifts and I'm like, oh, I'd love that, I'd love that, I'd love that. But do I want it enough to put it on my list? Probably not um like there's a set of NARS lip balms in all different colours and they look super shiny and they just look lovely that I think they'll be a great present but I don't want someone to spend £24 on them you know um or there's like great things I'd love to try whereas I feel like it's only justified if I know I'm probably gonna like it um so I find that hard. I, I could easily shop for myself with exciting new makeup bits, but I would hate for someone to waste their money on something I didn't like, end up liking, or... Yeah, I also one year had my nan say to my dad, I don't want to buy her any makeup bits because I find it boring. <laughs> um, so, you know. Um, but. I have asked for this um, Huda Beauty Mini Lipstick Duo. It was £17 in Cult Beauty. Um, I did then find it cheaper on ASOS after I wrote my list. Um, but I've never tried Huda Beauty lipsticks before. They look lovely and I have always wanted to try them. Um, so I thought well, this is cheaper and they're just mini ones. You know, it could be good. I've also asked for the NARS Climax mascara. I think I think that is the best mascara I've ever used. So I've asked for a full size of it. Um from I've linked Feel Unique because that's the cheapest I found it at the time. Um and yeah, I think that is my favourite. And then I've also asked for a lavender pillow spray. I actually bought a new one the other day because it was in home bargains for like less than two pounds, I think. But I love using pillow spray um and I find it so relaxing. I ask for it every single year, you know. Then we have perfumes and scents. Again, there are some perfumes I think, oh, I like the sound of that, I like the look of that, but I'm never gonna ask for a perfume that I haven't tried before. So, I've written my favourite perfume down. Chanel Chance Eau Vive. It's my favourite perfume, I love it. I ask for it every year, I love it. So I've asked for that. I've also asked for Marc Jacobs Perfect because again I think that's a beautiful perfume and also I've written down Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream Forever, it's the one in the blue bottle. Um, all of those are great perfumes and I love them. Um, something else I've asked for from the body shop is their body mist in Indian Night Jasmine. I've spoken about this a lot, I find it such like a sexy scent. Um, and I love wearing it like on date nights and stuff like that. It's beautiful. They do a perfume, but it's more expensive. And I use a lot of spray anyway on myself. And I don't know, the, I've tried the Body Shop perfume before and I found that I sprayed just as much, just as regularly, whether it was the body mist or the perfume. So you may as well just get me the body mist. The body mist is £8.50. And then I've written that it also comes in the shower gel and body lotion because last year I bought the shower gel I think and just like having it all imagine like everything just smelling like Indian night jasmine just making the scent so much stronger on your body I love it <laughs> um, and then I also asked for like cheap stuff like uh impulse sprays and body mist I can wear to work I don't like the idea of wearing expensive perfume to work come on now I'm basically just around children who are not going to appreciate it <laughs> but I like just I always like to smell good and also it's like a nervous thing for me um when i am nervous i like to spray perfume or make myself smell good when i drive somewhere and i get there i like to keep my bag in the passenger seat so when i get there i can quickly spray myself before i get out of the car earlier i went to the pantomime um and then we drove to where we were going for a meal and then i got out of the car and quickly sprayed myself before we went into the meal i don't know why it's just a routine I have um, and I would rather use cheaper ones for work <laughs> and then I've also asked for something a bit different I always hear about the Huda Beauty I don't know how to say it Kayali Kayali I don't know um, her perfumes and I thought you know what what if I got the sampler kit so I would I was not asking someone to pay for them or pay for one that I might not like I could get the sampler kit Yes, they are very small, but at least I kind of get a vibe of whether I like any of them or not. 
um, and I linked that for £22 on Cult Beauty. The annoying thing is I saw it on offer for over a week on Feel Unique. By the time it came to write my list, it wasn't on offer anymore. <laughs> right, board games. Okay. Oh, my favourite thing. Um, I have asked for a really, really, really interesting game from Big Potato Games. Of course, I love Big Potato Games. I have asked for what next. It's £40 and I've written here, but if you sign up, you get 10% off. Um, I find that a struggle as well. Where we, I guess we, I guess we're watching this, you're similar to me. We're online a lot and we also follow a lot of influencers and stuff who have their own codes. We know like where you can get discounts from. I'm also a student now, so I get student discount on things. Um, not that I've used it yet, <laughs> but we know how to get money off of things. And then again, I feel like, why would I get you to pay full price if I can get it for cheaper? And yeah, um, but I've asked for what next, which is an adventure game. Oh, I really, really hope I get this. Um, it reminds me of my dad used to have these books when I was younger that were like adventure books they'd be like oh you're outside a cave and you can hear a bear growling do you go inside the cave if so turn to page 124 do you walk back into the forest if so turn to page 89 and then you turn to the page you read the next bit and basically you just die all the time I never <laughs> got to the end um it reminds me of that you have cards that you pick up you are all working together as a team which i like um i also like working against other people not gonna lie but i like that we'd all work as a team you pick over a card you decide what you're gonna do next if you're gonna do this thing you pick up card number 40 if you do this thing you pick up card number three um and then it leads you on to the next part and there are like little mini challenges that you have to do to see whether i guess you survive certain things and um, there's different storylines in the box, but it just sounds so cool and I really want that. I've also asked for, again from Big Potato Games, Don't Get Got, but the Christmas edition. So this is the mini game, which is £10. Um, I don't have the normal version, the original version, but it's Don't Get Got and basically you all have little missions. And I love the idea of us having little missions and we get them at the beginning of Christmas Day and then you've got all of Christmas Day to do them. I don't know, I guess the winner is the person who does all their missions first, but they're things like um, trick someone into thinking there's a bug in their drink or get someone to sing out loud or stuff like that. And I think that as the day goes on, people will forget that there's missions and then you're more likely to be like, what? Or answer something or sing along to something, you know? Um, and I just thought that'd be a really cool game. <laughs> and then the last game that I have put on my list is the logo game, but the second edition. I've written down that it's £20. I haven't put a link to it, but you can get it from anywhere, pretty much. Um, the reason I've asked for the second edition is because I have the first edition. Well, I think it's at my mum's anyway. But we've genuinely been through it so many times we know all the logos and everything that they're going to talk about now we're on to this second random section so the last section of my list um <laughs> i've got some random ideas like um i don't know cool cereal with a question mark um i've put a link there to cereal killer cafe um i just like different and cool cereals um and i've written that my favorite is oatmeal cream pie which is delicious um, and I've put a link there, so I like the idea of mum or dad just scrolling through and thinking, oh, she might like that, she might like that. You know, new cereals, different cereals, so I've written that. And I've also written cool snacks, question um, mark. And I've linked iFoods. The website is ifoodsuk.com. Um, and I've written that I've bought from them to get items from other countries, and they're a reliable company because I've bought from them and I've had things delivered from them. Um, on iFoods, they have like a whole American section, they have other countries, they have cool cereal, cool sweets, groceries, they even have like laundry detergent and stuff that they have in America. They might have cleaning supplies, I don't know, but they also stock like the Halloween stuff for Halloween time, Christmas stuff um like uh make your own gingerbread house but with sour patch kids like we don't have that in the uk you know and stuff like that so i've just linked both of those websites with an idea that someone might go through and just find random stuff that they think i might like 
I've also linked some pyjamas. I have wanted Chelsea Piers pyjamas for a few years now. I think I asked for some last year but didn't get them, but we'll see if I get any this year. I've linked this set, which I think is really, really cute with the hearts, and it's just Christmassy and it's lovely. Um, and then I've also linked this set as well, which is called Merry Mountains. And I've just written that I like PJs to be big, so like a size 24, because I'm a size 20 to sometimes 22, um, and I'd rather pyjamas be a 24, but even if like they're sold out, I'd take a size 26, you know? Like, I, I just want bigger pyjamas, because who doesn't want to feel cosy in their pyjamas, you know? Um, but then I've also written, this is just for Black Friday, so code BF25 gives you 25% off for Black Friday, or Lucy15 gives you 15% off. Um, because that is from Lucy, who is on Instagram. She's called, I think she's called Curvy Loose. Curvy, Curvy Loose, yeah. And I, I love her, but she did um, an ad with them, and she's got 15% off. So I thought, lovely. <laughs> I've also asked for some black joggers to kind of lounge around the flat in, especially with working from home so much. I have a grey tracksuit that I bought from ASOS and I wish actually that at the time I bought the black version as well because they don't sell the same one that I've got. Um, but it's light grey, just like a sweatshirt um, and lovely soft joggers with big pockets. And I got it in a size 24 and I love that the joggers are oversized and then I can do them up tight at the waist and I love the shape they give me. I would actually love some jeans in that kind of shape, but um, they're light gray um, and I only have one pair. And I would love some black ones, whether it's, you know, your time in the month. So you wanna make sure you know, you're know you in black <laughs> or you don't have to be, I know you don't have to be, but you know, I like to, yeah, anyway. <laughs> or those ones are in the wash so I wear the black ones I would love that um so I've asked for some black joggers I've linked these ones but really as long as they're oversized I don't care um so I've put them I've asked for some money to buy some stuff in the sales I always find that by Christmas day I really don't have any money um and I have no way of buying anything in the sales unless like I was going to use PayPal or something um so some money would be great I wrote Disarano down again because I love Disarano last year I asked for like all different kinds of like cocktail making stuff didn't I um and that was lovely so I thought I love drinking Disarano so why not ask for it on my Christmas list to drink over the Christmas period and then the last thing I wrote is a bit niche it's a voucher for a DIY trip to Ikea with my dad, where he will measure space for shelves, take me to buy the shelves, and put them up for me. <laughs> um, behind the camera here, so opposite my bed, I have two Cullen drawer units from Ikea. They are one, two, three, four, five. They are five drawers tall. And I've got a lot of blank space, wall space above it. I would love to put white shelves there to put my books on to maybe even put pictures like along the top one I don't know but I'd love more storage space so I thought that'd be great and that is everything on my Christmas list this year if you've written a list or you know you've asked for something even if it's just like one thing let me know what you've asked for I would love to know um, and if you've asked for any especially if it's any board games makeup or skincare I would love to know um but yeah I hope that you found this interesting at all <laughs> um but thank you for watching and I will see you on Wednesday with my next vlogmas <laughs>